are at least three things that make the ear a perfect spot for measuring biometrics. The first is it's the only place in the body, other than another place you're sitting on, where you can get good blood flow information no matter what you're doing. So you get a true blood flow waveform at the ear. Another thing is because it's located along the spine, the activity metrics are much more accurate than in other parts of the body. For example, look at me, I'm talking with my hands, right? I could be counting how many footsteps this way if I had an activity tracker on me, but the head, your head goes where your body goes. And then the third thing about it is that it's part of what people already wear for activities where monitoring is important. So you combine the accuracy with the use case importance and those, that peanut butter and chocolate is what makes the, the ear such a great place for monitoring. There's a fourth thing about the ear that's really important is that you can measure the most things at the ear than any other place in the body. For example, in the ear is the only spot where some things can be measured. For example, tympanic temperature. You can't measure tympanic temperature in your mouth. Um, so core body temperature. Also, we have an algorithm that we've proven tracks your blood pressure in the ear. And that algorithm would not work in other parts of the body. There's a number of different things you can measure the ear that you can't measure uh, anyplace else. When you're designing an audio headset, you have to have ergonomics, audio quality, and biometrics all in mind. You can make a sensor that's really accurate, that staples into your ear. Most people would say that's painful. So there it goes to the ergonomics. So getting it to work really well and be comfortable is a challenge. Then also you want it to sound good. You don't want the sensor to screw up the sound and you don't want the sound to screw up the sensor. So that triumvirate of those three things, that holy trinity of audio, ergo, and biometrics is required. And Valencell has exper expertise in all those areas, primarily the biometrics, but more, maybe more importantly, we know how to make those other two, the ergonomics and the audio, not get screwed up by the biometrics.